Hi folks, Tony here again at Silverman Hyundai Dungannon. Just want to show you around this uh, 2021 Hyundai Bayon 1 liter SE Connect Mile Hybrid Manual. Color is intense blue. Cracking little car. Really easy on fuel. And very, very practical. So just as always, briefly around the outside, focus in on one of the windows so you can see the design of them. And uh, then we'll show you some of the features inside. Diamond cut alloys. Okay folks, we're sitting inside the Bayon now, just show you the instrument cluster, nice and clear. It is a full digital display and it is customizable. I'll show you that in a wee minute. Um, uh, mileage on the bottom right hand side there, you see the car's covered just under 11,000, 10,799 be precise. Um, and you can see previous owner average about 45 miles a gallon. Um, they are capable of more, um, but uh, as I say, that's what it's just showing particularly at this stage. Um, but uh, yeah, so nice and clear. Um, speedo on the right, or sorry, on the left, and rev counter on the right, fuel gauge on the bottom left, engine temperature on the bottom right hand side. Car has mild hybrid technology, so there's a small battery there small electric motor but it will um, drive on petrol all of the time the, the electric motors are just to take some of the stress away some of the strain engine doesn't work as hard obviously which will improve fuel economy just on to the driver's door panel then and um, you will see there we've got all electric windows as well as electrically operated mirrors which are also power folding right hand side of the dashboard then you've got your headlamp adjuster switch um, you, which is the switch on the right hand side that's the scroller switch there then you've got your stop start technology which is the A off button the top um, left hand side then is your traction control um, to disable it um, and then you can reset your tyre pressures um, if you've ended up with an under inflated tyre that's just your tyre pressure reset button your um, wipers on the uh, right hand side stock and then your automatic lights um, are on the left hand stock. The car also comes with auto high beam assist. So that's quite a handy feature. It works really, really well. Um, just pop your auto high beam on. And of course, at that stage, you don't even have to worry about dipping them for oncoming cars on country roads or dipping them down when you're coming into a town with uh, street lamps. It will do it all automatically for you. Right hand side of the steering wheel then, you have your um, cruise control. Um, which is the top right hand side bottom one there on the right hand side is your pause or resume acceleration and then the steering wheel there in the center of the two lanes is for your lane keep assist technology um, that feature can be disabled if you wish but it will all, always um, default back on so it will keep you in the center of a lane it will correct you as well say so just a, there'll be a bit of corrective steering just to, to center you back into that lane um, so it will if necessary then over to the left hand side of the steering hub then you've got your audio functions you've got your voice recognition button which is the top uh, left hand button and the car comes with apple carplay and android auto um, on this particular car as well it is wireless um, so say you can just connect your your phone up um, without any cable and things like apple car i beg your pardon things like spotify uh, whatsapp um, google maps apple maps um, all those sort of features that you get with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto say can be done wirelessly and you can use your voice recognition for. Um, then you get your telephone features underneath there so obviously accept a call and reject a call with the two bottom buttons and your volume up and down and skipping through your stations. Then on to the main screen so again it's a full colour um, display radio is just off there obviously at the moment but it is a digital radio in the car um, that's where your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay will project obviously up to and if I just pop it into reverse you'll see there again we've got a nice clear image um, of our um, rear um, of the car there obviously with the dynamic steering lines the car also comes with rear parking sensors too so again you've got the audible as well as the visual on this just pop it back into neutral it'll take you back to the main screen just below here then nice and straightforward ventilation um, you've got your direction of air on the left, you've got your fan speed in the middle, and you've got your heater control on the right hand side. Of course, the car comes with air conditioner as well. Um, and that is all there, so nothing um, nothing too complicated. Just below that, then you have your uh, USB ports, one on either side, and then a 12 volt socket, which is just conveniently placed in the middle here uh, with a cover cap just over it. You'll see there as well, there's a little bit of blue lighting in this car too. It does it does illuminate, it's quite nice actually at night because it does illuminate blue inside. And then below there, I'll just focus down so hopefully you can see that, is your drive mode button. You've got your parking sensor button to switch off and then you have your drive mode button now that drive mode button i'll take you back up to the dash if i push that button you'll see this is where the dash becomes customizable so you've got eco you've got comfort and then you have sport now apart from changing the dials 
it will also um, adjust the throttle response. So Eco being the most economical, Comfort will give you a little bit more response and a slight bit more weight in the wheel. And then um, Sport does the same again. Obviously, it will multiply um, the uh, the weight in the wheel and it will uh, maximise the throttle response. But there is a downside. Obviously, you will use a little bit more fuel if you're on Sport at that stage. But the dials look nice. Car has a six-speed uh, manual gearbox and uh, reverse is a trigger there and it is up to the left-hand side. So, folks, as always, video was nice and short and sweet, hopefully. Um, if you like this car, reserve it for as little as £99 online. Come and see it, test drive it. If you like it, um, you can obviously go ahead and purchase the car. If you don't, no obligation. So if you see something else, we can transfer the, the £99 to another vehicle or we can refund you. If you have a part exchange, remember to bring it. Um, it's the only way we can obviously do the business properly. So we need to see the vehicles um, to be able to price them correctly. Um, but folks, as always, it has been a pleasure. When you come in and do uh, Hyundai, just make sure you ask for Tony. Thanks again.